Hello everyone. Today let us learn how to carry out a supervised and unsupervised classification in ArcMap. How to carry out the same process in Erdas Imagine has already been explained in other video in the same tutorial. You can just browse through the channel to find that video. So first of all to carry out classification in ArcMap you need to display the image in ArcMap. Now here is the classification uh, menu. It may not be available in all the versions. You just have to write, do a right click here and go to image classification and select that so that it will come over here. Now first of all let's do unsupervised classification. You have a ISO cluster unsupervised classification method. Just click on that and you will have a dialog box which will ask you the number of classes in the image here you have selected the image let's be there like that and let's specify the number of classes i'll specify number of classes as eight and you can select the place where you want to save the result this is the unsupervised classification let's click ok and the process is in progress there you go this is your unsupervised classification result this was your image and presently you have the unsupervised classification results displayed in your map so you have eight classes together and you can name the classes accordingly as ever and whatever you feel like probably this would be the water body you can just confirm using the image here is a water body let's see what is the color given to water body this color so here is your color for the water body just you can just go there and change the nomenclature to water body so similarly you can carry out the same thing for all the classes you can just go to the properties and here are your values labeling i can change it to water and say this as uh, vegetation etc etc generally water will be in uh, blue color so i will even change the color to blue and the vegetation into green so similarly i can do for all the classes depending on the requirement so now you know see the water is in blue and the vegetation is here in green color so that's about the supervised classification unsupervised classification let's do supervised classification now let's remove this image and go back to the original image unsupervised unclassified image and go to the classification window here you have so many options maximum likelihood for which you need a signature file basically so this is the sample maker here you can create the training samples now i'll create training samples for this particular file here you have an option to draw polygon just take this and click here so this class is water and the color will change it to blue similarly let's click here on the vegetation and type this as vegetation and change the color to green similarly you can go on adding so many classes depending on your requirement i will not name these classes i'll keep as they are and carry out the process now you can just save this signature file click here 
and save signature i am saving this as google earth the signature file click save and your signature file is saved now close this and let's go to classification and maximum likelihood classification what maximum likelihood basically does is among all the pixels will be compared with these four classes and whatever is very likely to be in a particular class will be classified under that class for example a pixel looks more like green for which we have defined it as vegetation will be classified under vegetation a pixel which is very similar to blue will be classified under water body so input signature file you need to specify which is google earth again this csg is the signature file click open and now your classification is done and your uh, all the pixels have been classified under four classes as defined in the signature file here is your classified image